Hello everyone. Today we are going to uh, learn how you can check if you are given with the two vectors whether the two vectors are parallel or perpendicular to each other or whether these are neither parallel nor perpendicular. So let, I will tell you the conditional that you have to check before uh, uh, telling whether the two vectors are parallel or, uh, or, the, or whether the two vectors are perpendicular. So the condition for the parallel vectors is two vectors will be the scalar product of each other. This is the condition for the parallel vectors. If the two vectors will be scalar product of each other, then you can say that the given two vectors are parallel to each other. So we can prove this thing with the help of an example. Or uh, if I write it in the form of, uh, um, in a mathematical form, then you can say that it means one vector, let's say the one vector is A and it is the scalar product of another vector B. So this condition must be true if the two vectors are parallel. So let's have an example. If we have an example as one vector is u is equals to 1, 2, x and y components are these. And v is equals to, this is the basically the component form of the vector. And v is the, let's say one vector is a, that is equals to 2 and minus 3. And the other vector is b, that is equals to minus 6 and 9. And you will be asked to find whether the two vectors are parallel or not. For that condition, for that you have to check this condition first. That is, we have to check first the components, component by component. Like, first we will match these two components and then these two components. So, how let's see. If we check the x components, then we can say that 2 equals to k times minus 6. So, with both of these are the x components of the two vectors. So, that will mean k will be equals to minus 1 by 3. So this, what does it mean by this k is equals to minus 1 by 3? It means that every component must be a minus 1 by 3 multiple of the other. Now, let's check it out that whether these are the multiple by minus 1 by 3 or not. If we multiply this component that is minus 6 multiplied by this minus 1 by 3 that is k then we must get this component keep this in mind so if i solve it it will be equal to 2 and it will become plus and it is equal to 2 yes it means the x component of b is the multiple of is 1 minus 1 by 3 multiple of the x component of the a vector similarly if i check this component 9 that is the y component so, if I multiply the y component with minus 1 by 3, what I will get is 3 3s are 9 minus 3. So, yes, it is equals to minus 3. It means the x and y component of B are the multiple of the x and y component of A. So, it means that these two vectors are parallel to each other. So, I can write easily here vector a and b are parallel to each other a and b are parallel vectors Let, now let's check the condition for the two vectors that whether these vectors are perpendicular or not the condition for the vectors to be perpendicular is the dot product of the two vectors will be zero so if we write it mathematically it a dot b will be equals to it means ax plus a y multiplied by bx plus b y should be equals to 0. It means if we take the dot product, we must have their product equals to 0 for the vectors to be perpendicular. If we consider it geometrically, then it is also clear from the formula as a dot b is equals to uh, magnitude of a, the magnitude of b cos theta. As cos theta is here, the theta will be 90. So, the all the product will be equals to 0. So, we will get 0. So, algebraically as well as geometrically, we will get 0 for the dot product of the perpendicular vectors. So let's say we have the vector A as equals to 3, 4 and the vector B is equals to minus 8 and 6. If we take the dot products, if we take the dot product, what we will get is equals to 3, 4 minus 8 and 6 and the dot product will be, we have to multiply these components and these components together so it will be equals to minus 24 plus 24 it means the dot product of the two vectors is equals to 0 and from here we can easily say that the two vectors are perpendicular means a and b are perpendicular to each other 
So this is how you can check whether the given vector, vector is parallel vector or a perpendicular vector. But what if the given vector is neither parallel nor perpendicular? How you can check that? That can easily be checked if the condition of the parallel vector is not met. First, we will check whether the two vectors, uh, whether the dot product of the two vectors equals to zero. No, if it is not equal to zero, we will move towards the parallel vectors. That there will be some scalar value at the end. Now we have to check that scalar value. If that scalar value is not satisfying the condition that is given here, but we will get a scalar value. It means that the given two vectors are neither perpendicular and nor parallel to each other. So for the two vectors to be neither per par parallel nor perpendicular, you must check the condition of the parallel vectors secondly after the perpendicular vectors. So, so here we have an example of, of, of the two vectors that are neither parallel nor perpendicular to each other. If we check their dot product A dot B, we will not get zero. It means these two vectors are not perpendicular to each other. If we check their dot product for another condition that is A is equals to K of B. So if I take any one of the component of uh, that is the X component of A and the X component of B, what I will get is 2 is equals to k into 1, that is k. It means k is equals to 2. We will get k is equals to 2. Now we will check whether all the components of a and b are the multiple of 2 or not. So if we multiply 1 with the 2, we will get this 2. But if we multiply 4 with the 2, we will get 8. That is not equal to 3. And if we multiply minus 2 with the 2, we will not get we, we have to, we must have 4, but we are getting 5 here. It means A and B are neither parallel nor perpendicular to each other. So here we have got A and B. A and B are neither parallel nor perpendicular to each other. Neither parallel nor perpendicular. So this is how you can check whether the two vectors are parallel perpendicular or neither parallel nor perpendicular. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you.